In 2002, Philip Morris took the position of CEO at Proctor's Theater in Schenectady, New York, a restored 1926 vaudeville and silent movie house that ran a modest season of music, comedy, and touring theater. Downtown was amazing. In the 2000s, it had just reached rock bottom, 85% vacant. I came here for my interview and I went to the board meeting and said, what happened? I've never seen a downtown like this. Downtown Schenectady, like many small cities across the United States, had fallen on hard times and was in need of something to spur regeneration. Schenectady had hit rock bottom but really wanted to do something and had some incredible resources set up, but it didn't have a political center. And through all the public meetings and public conversations, there was total agreement. Whatever happened had to start at Proctor's, had to start at Proctor's, because Proctor's was the only thing that had survived. So our planning was big. We just decided if their attitude was like that, we should take advantage of it. And we thought about lots and lots of things, and we ended up delivering on most of them. Proctor's stage expansion and renovations allowed blockbuster Broadway mega hits, like The Phantom of the Opera in 2006, to tour New York's capital region for the very first time. Now, Phantom happened when we were half done with the project. We had finished the stage expansion, but not the expansion into the rest of the buildings that created the iWorks Theater and stuff. But it was uh, a monumental undertaking, both to get the theater ready on time and to prove to the community that we could deliver four weeks of anything. Uh, most people walked around going, you're crazy. But we knew it would work, and it did work, and the enthusiasm around it was explosive, really. In some ways, we're still living off that sense of, wow, we really can do it. The Proctor's stage expansion was only part one of a larger project. More than $42 million were invested to expand the historic theater. An iWorks Extreme Screen GE Theater was built. An education center, new lobby, box office, meeting spaces, and coffee shop were all created. Proctor's also constructed a state-of-the-art district heat plant that serves not only the new Performing Arts Center, but also its neighbors in the new downtown Schenectady with green heating and cooling. With the facility almost done, there's still a floor left that we could play with. It's a pretty unusual place. It heats and cools the whole block and a lot of the businesses around us. It has a sidewalk melt system around the entire block for the winter. What the heck, why, why have ice in the winter if you can avoid it? And we reused an old department store beautifully, merging it with a historic arcade. So it's kind of an unusual facility between the iWorks and the snow melt and the uh, heating system. I think probably we're kind of one of the kind. You should come visit it. Now, after many years in physical and fiscal decline, downtown Schenectady is a thriving arts and entertainment district, full of music and life. And still at its center is Proctor's. A community does something like this, it doesn't do it looking for accolades, it doesn't looking to change its place. So it's pretty amazing to get an award like this. Thank you. <laughs>